Welcome back to Sip the Tatter Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today I'm coming to you from the end of the bar to kind of talk a little bit about Odell Beckham. Everybody's talking about his contract, the $15 million guaranteed, plus the $3 million in potential incentives. And what struck me was when I found out the actual incentives, I wanted to kind of shed light on how easy or how hard it's going to be to get said incentives. So with Odell, we all know that he's, you know, been hurt. And it's, I don't wish it on anybody, but let's, he's probably going to miss some games at some point throughout the season. So what I did was, let's just say worst case scenario, he misses four games, which is about a month of the season. So instead of playing 17 games with 17 chances to get those incentives, he plays 13. And 13 games, you know, with Odell, I think is great, especially if he's healthy going into the playoffs. I think that's that's a good number. But let's talk about, you know, 13 games and, and those incentives. So first up is the receiving yards. Um, not receiving yards, the, the catches. If he gets 60 catches, he gets a million dollars. Or if he leads the team. So we're going to take leads the team out of all those categories and just speak numbers. Because he can lead the team with 22 catches and still get the million dollars if the next best person has 21. But we're going to take the leads the team out. We're going to talk about the actual numbers. You know, kind of scenario-ish type deal um so 60 catches 13 games that's a total of 4.6 catches a game is that attainable yes slant routes snag concept um curls digs he he can get five catches a game i i you know in 13 games i could i can see him averaging six to seven especially depending on how, you know what monkin does with with the offense so that's the first one i think it's attainable and just think about it. If he plays more than 13 games, how much more easy that is. If he plays the full 17 games, that probably goes down to about three catches a game. So I think that's fairly attainable for Odell, which now I'll say that for the end. Secondly, we're talking about receiving yards. A thousand receiving yards, he gets another million dollars. So let's just say a thousand divided by 13, and that's 76.9 yards per game. Now, Playing just 13 games, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. But again, Odell has the ability to take a slant and bust it for 40 or 50. I'm not saying he got the ability to crib it anymore because we don't know yet. But I think he looked fairly healthy. But we'll see. But 75, 76 yards per game, that's attainable if he produces in the games he plays. And keep in mind, if he plays more, that probably goes down to about 60. It probably goes down to about 60 yards per game. And keep in mind, he's going to have some games that probably have a bunch of yards, and he's going to have some games that he's probably not going to have very many yards. So the average, if he can hit that average of 65, 70, 80 yards a game, he should be good to hit that incentive, especially if he plays more than 13 games. And lastly, which I think is the hardest one, the nine touchdowns. Because we were so run heavy, but we don't know what Monkey's going to do, but we assume we're still going to be run heavy. I think it's going to be tough for him to get nine touchdowns, whether he plays 17 games or 13. But let's just assume he plays 13. That's .69 touchdowns a game. And obviously you can't get .69. But one touchdown here, like a touchdown every two weeks, that puts him at, what, 12, that's six. Say he played 13, that's six and a half. So one touchdown, he's going to have to do, he's going to have to put multiple touchdowns in. At some point, unless he plays all 17 games and then he can, you know, get one like one every three weeks and that'll push him close to the number. But at some point, he's going to have to have a two or maybe even a three touchdown game, which is possible because you can use him around the goal line to like. And what's so special about Odell is if a DB plays him outside leverage, the slants are given. Unless you just take a second guy and just jump, jump that alley. DB plays him inside leverage. Now he got two potential routes on you. He got the fade ball and he got the fade stop. Or three and the fade comeback. And if you play him straight up, you at his mercy. You at his mercy to do whatever he wants to you because his footwork is just that good. He may not have the speed, but his footwork is just that good. So all three of these incentives I think are attainable. I think the touchdowns is probably gonna be the most hardest one, even if he plays all the games. But I think they put it in the contract to 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 basically look, go and get these three million. And I think his only competition with not leading the team in reception and yards and getting it that way is Mark Andrews. 
And we, but we'll see how Munkin decides to use him. He's had him before, and you know it is what it is. But we got him on the team. I'm happy about it. Uh, hopefully Lamar, you know, gets in the fold. Uh, we may be picking somebody else up. Do, I mean, D Hop maybe. We'll see. Maybe in the draft. We'll see. Draft is less than two weeks away. So make sure you come back here for your draft coverage. It'll be <laughs> actually we're gonna have a bunch of people. At least eight. At least eight. And let me see. I don't want to lose anybody out. So it's Hendo from Rogue Podcast. It's the Lunch Break Hot Take Crew, Jose and Brightney. We got OTR Mike. We got Chris Just Joking. We got um Michael Crawford from the Deep Cover Podcast with Chris. We got Kerry Stevenson with from the Deep Cover Podcast with Chris and myself. That's the eight. And you know, we'll do draft coverage that way and you know, try to keep you laughing while informing you on some of the picks and whether it's a good pick, bad pick, or giving you a little bit of information about the that person. So if you let me go ahead and hit this. There we go. Like the video. <laughs> and if you've liked what you've seen so far, consider subscribing. And once you subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified when these videos drop throughout the rest of the off season, draft season, and season. So I appreciate your time. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace. Enjoy your Sunday. NBA is about to start.